Once upon a time, there was a race of men who could outshoot, outfight, and outkill anybody. They were paid fabulous sums to act as mercenaries. The practice became so lucrative, they decided to go into business. They became the most successful businessmen in history, and they called themselves the Star Slammers. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and all you heavy hitters out there. Welcome back to Mastodon Comics and Collecting. This is episode 6 of Marvel Graphic Novel Reviews. And today, it is the 6th issue in that series, The Star Slimers. Brought to us by the wonderful Walter Simonson. Uh... I read this and it was I thought it was very well done. I thought it was I thought it was great. Uh Walt's art was out of this world. It was definitely out of this world. Uh this story is uh a space opera, if you want to use that term. And it is it is actually uh, his first comic book art, comic book story, um, and it was created very early on in his career before he was even uh, in uh, the comic book industry. It is something that would springboard him later. It started out. Uh, after Walt had joined the Washington Science Fiction Association uh, upon graduating with a degree in geology, which is something I was completely unaware of. I didn't know he had gone to school for geology. It's kind of a different path uh, from which he ended up um, the story was composed as a bid to host the 1974 World Science Fiction Convention he created what would become the Star Slammers uh, and the group that he was in personally printed and distributed uh, these stories at various conventions uh, a few pages at a time and uh, they would release them uh, every so many months uh, the final chapter of the series is what won them uh, the the vote to to host the event um, in 1972 uh, his personal opinion of the of the uh, of the work was pretty good fan art. That's a quote from from Walt. And he bound it uh, the second half of the story and used it as a portfolio. Uh, this portfolio was seen by. Carmine Infantino from uh, DC and it helped secure uh, some of the early work that Walter Simonson did uh, at DC um, and it also it sprung it was a springboard for uh, the work that he did with Manhunter um, the backup stories for on Detective Comics uh, the first Star Slammers title was Marvel Graphic Novel number six. Uh, and it would later go on in the 90s uh, to be a five issue limited series uh, for Malibu Comics Rivera imprint, but only four issues were 
completed uh, or published. Uh, Dark Horse would pick it up and publish the, the final issue in that arc and would also publish an eight-page uh, Star Slammer story titled Fever Dream in the Dark Horse Presents number 114, uh, which was considered a prelude to the 94 series. Uh, if you're a, a fan of Walt Simonson and you want to look at uh, the entire Star Slammers uh, saga outside of the graphic novel, IDW published a uh, series, um, a not an omnibus, but a trade or, or a a, a, co a collected edition of this. Uh, it's the complete collection of the Star Slammers, and it it has pretty much everything uh, they had also published a an eight issue reprinted limited series uh, of this which I'm gonna say was the springboard for that Simonson has said that he plotted out another eight part star slammer story that he would like to do when he's not so busy uh, the original art was colored by he and his wife Louise. Uh, the story opens up on a planet um, and they are uh, at this place called the Citadel and it is uh, very uh, very much in the vein of maybe Battlestar Galactica or uh, a classic movie I, I always enjoyed was Ice Pirates uh, kind of give me that that mindset Star Wars uh, things like that nature uh, and they are uh, under siege and waiting for the Star Slimers and when uh, the Star Slimers show up they see, see the ship land and the Star Slimers get out of the ship they were expecting hundreds and they got three. But as the story unfolds, uh, you learn uh, some of the history um, of that particular planet and what is going on and why the Star Slammers are there. Uh, they are mercenaries for hire. And uh, they are brought in uh, to help a planet that is under attack by a race of people called the hunters and these are uh, people that that hunt other people for sport lesser beings for sport uh, I thought it was it was very well done um, uh, very the story may be a little weak in spots uh, as per some reviews that I've that I've read um, that is true but uh, I, I thought it was very well done I gave it a 7 uh, grade uh, for the art and and just the fact that it's Walter Simonson uh, if you're a fan of Walter Simonson's work and you have not read this check it out uh, it, it's it, it's worth it um, I will be putting some links in the bottom or in the description for a uh, uh, an interview that uh, Comic Book Resources did with Walt. Uh, I'll be put some other uh, links in there. Uh, some sample a uh, Comic Book Resources page that has some samples from the work. Um, and uh, definitely check that out. Check those links out. And stay tuned uh, for more in this series. Uh, my next review will be Kill Raven, Warrior of the Worlds. Uh, 
kind of look forward to doing that one. Uh, I don't have it out, so I can't actually show it to you, but uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, keep collecting, keep reading, and keep sharing.